Hi, my name is Stuart Lawler. I'm Business Development Manager for Sight and Sound Technology here in Ireland, and I'm also Head of Content Creation for the company. Now, I'm here today to talk about screen readers because I also happen to be a screen reader user. And in this case, we're talking about JAWS. So JAWS is an application that sits on your computer and that captures information as it travels to the screen and outputs it in synthetic speech. It's a very efficient and effective way for a blind or low vision person to access information. In its most basic form, it can read text as you navigate through the screen. So if we're on the Windows desktop, for example, it reads icons as I move around. Or if I want to search for an application and open Word, for example, I can do that by pressing enter. Email has become a core part of everyone's working life. And I know in my case, I tend to live in Microsoft Outlook. Well, luckily, JAWS works seamlessly with Outlook. So here I am in my inbox, inbox sewer, closer, and I'm flicking through my messages. And there's an unread message here. Somebody I've contacted is out of the office. I want to know when she might be back. So let's ask JAWS to read this message. Out of office, me. Message, plain text. I am on annual leave from the 4th, 17th August 2020 and will have limited access to my emails or this. So I know when she's back and I'm going to press escape to close my message. Inbox. Now I do need to check my calendar for a meeting on Friday because I need to check if I'm available at 12 noon. So I'm going to quickly go to my calendar, go to calendar. and I'm going to arrow over to Friday. Friday 18th September 2020. One event, one busy. I have one event. I'm not sure what it is, so let's find out. Julian Jackson podcast interview, 10 o'clock to 1045 Friday, 18 September 2020. Time busy, okay? So I'm, in, I'm meeting someone at 10 o'clock for a podcast interview, but it's only going to take 45 minutes, so I can slot in a meeting at 12 o'clock. Well, the internet has become a key part of all our lives, hasn't it? And indeed, many people need to use the internet many times every day. In fact, a lot of workplace, work-based applications are now web-based, meaning that you use them from your web browser. Luckily, JAWS works with all the major web browsers on the market. In this case, I'm using it with Microsoft Edge, and I've already opened the Google homepage. Google. I'm going to search. For assistive technology research. And I'll press enter. When I, when I get my search results and they've just come up, JAWS will quickly allow me to scan or skim the results to see what I might like. This is what we call in screen reader terms moving by headings. I can easily flick through these search results, pressing enter on the one I need to access and interrogate it further. Here's how JAWS works in Microsoft Word a word processor used by so many people to do so many things every day. Well, in its most basic form, it can read the documents I have on screen. We are looking at how screen reading technology like JAWS can interact with standard applications such as those found on the Microsoft suite. Now, if I want to interrogate that document a little more, I might want to see, for example, what size font and what is the font characteristics of what I'm currently writing in. So I'll ask JAWS to give me some info on the font. 14 point, black on white, aerial, normal style, line spacing, zero lines, fair. So I'm using 14 point aerial, which is fine. The word JAWS in this document, I want to highlight or bold it to make it stand out. Interact with, inter can, JAWS. There's the word JAWS, I'm going to highlight it. JAWS. And I'm going to bold it. Uh, bolded, 14 point, black. And JAWS has confirmed for me that that word has been bolded. And finally, at the top of this document, I have a line that says assistive tech. I want to make that uh, into a heading and I want to center it center. so that it stands okay. out as the title of the document. I'll now ask JAWS to give me characteristics to verify that. So I can tell that my document is now centered and ready to go.